Hey guys, today we have DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon 2. These are two dragon sets that come with one dragon and one dragon attack machine. Let's open them up and check them out. Here's some of the other characters in the series that you can collect. This is Monstrous Nightmare. The Monstrous Nightmare is one of the most aggressive, powerful, and stubborn breeds of dragons. It's classified in the Stoker class. Before the Red Death was discovered, it was considered the most formidable dragon species. Monstrous Nightmares come in many different colors such as purple, blue, scarlet, or green, and possess a long snake-like neck and tail. Unlike some of the other breeds of dragon, it has no forelegs, and its ground-based locomotion is similar to that of a dinosaur, except that it has a lower profile due to its sprawling wings. It can use its claw-tipped wings to crawl along the floor. Their horns might be used as a visual display in defense, but the swept back position of the horns means it's unlikely to use them in combat. Its striped skin patterns seem to mimic that of a tiger's. Pretty scary. Now this is the snuffer. and it's designed to fight against the monstrous nightmare. Get a little closer and attack. We've got him, we've got him. Can't get out. Looks like we've won this battle. Take him away. This is Gronkle. The Gronkle is one of the toughest and slowest dragons in the dragon world, and more than lives up to its looks in the battlefield. They are classified in the Boulder class, and have appeared ever since the first film. The Gronkle can be a slow, lazy, and cranky bulldog-like dragon. It has been known to fall asleep mid-flight, waking only when it plunges into the sea or crashes into a mountain. They spend the majority of their day sleeping. Because of its tremendous weight and small wings, it would seem impossible for them to fly. However, the wings of a gronkle beat at the speed similar to that of a hummingbird's, dragonfly's, or bee's wings. In fact, a gronkle can fly backwards, sideways, and even hover in places and its tail can be mistaken for its head if little attention is paid. And this battle machine is the Gronkle Cannon. Got him! Oh, oh, oh. Quick, reload! He's getting up! No, oh, oh. <sighs> Shh. 
Well, these are just two character sets in the series of How to Train Your Dragon 2. Go ahead and collect more. They're really cool and they include one dragon and one trap. Thanks for watching today, guys, and we look forward to more great toy testing and lots more DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon 2 Dragon and Trap sets on Toy Test for Tom. Talk to you soon.